Welcome! The following training will demonstrate how to use the Get Started Wizard in the SecureNet SmartLink Plus mobile application to install a Rely system and set up a new account. The SmartLink Plus mobile application contains a do-it-yourself or DIY Get Started Wizard. Use this DIY Get Started Wizard if you are an end user who needs to install a supported DIY system as well as set up your own new user account. Note, if your account has already been set up for you by your security dealer or service provider, simply plug in your Rely security panel, connect to power, and log into the SmartLink Plus app to access your account. Enter the username and password that were provided to you by your security dealer or service provider. You will not need to use the DIY Get Started wizard since your account was already created by your security dealer or service provider. Refer to the SmartLink Plus app user guide for instructions surrounding your Rely system. If your account has not previously been created, you will be setting up a new account via the DIY Get Started wizard. SmartLink Plus will allow you to set up your account and install each component of your system by selecting Get Started on the login page. To begin, download the SmartLink Plus app from the App Store or Google Play. Search for SmartLink Plus and select the app with the following icon. Open the application. You will see the sign-in page. Select the Get Started link to begin installation and account creation. Enter your activation code. You should have received this code from the dealer who sold you the system. You can enter your activation code manually using your on-screen keyboard if your dealer provided you with an activation code in QR code format, select Scan QR. You may see a pop-up on your device asking you to confirm access to your device camera. Once the QR scanner has launched, simply point your device camera at your activation QR code and the app will auto-recognize and populate your activation code, returning you to the Let's Get Started page. Note. This activation code is separate from the code on your panel. Once your activation code has been entered, press Next to continue. Enter the panel IMEI number. Remove the back cover of the Rely panel by lifting the edge of the tab up. You will see a sticker with a scannable QR code and the IMEI number. You can manually enter this IMEI number or you can scan the QR code on the panel. If you are manually entering the IMEI number, only enter the last 12 digits. To scan in the number, press Scan QR. Point your phone camera at the QR code. The app will auto-recognize and populate the code and return you to the Enter Panel IMEI page. Press Next once the QR code is added. Next, power up the panel when instructed to do so in the Get Started wizard. Thread the power cord through the opening in the backplate. Insert the power cord into the panel's AC power receptacle. Ensure the wire is nested within the wire path. Then, insert the battery power connector end into the battery compartment receptacle. And fold the connector wire into the recessed area next to the battery. Replace the back cover. Then select a location for your panel near an available power outlet. The panel can be mounted on a wall or placed on a flat surface such as a desk. Refer to the Quick Start Guide for detailed instructions on how to install the panel on a wall or flat surface. Plug the panel into a power outlet. Once your Rely panel is powered up, press Next. The Hello page will display. Your account is now registered and you are ready to begin the account creation process. The Hello page lists four steps required to complete the account creation process. These steps are Create user Add location Add sensors and Finalize setup. To initiate these four steps, press Begin Setup. You will be directed to the Create User page. Press Create. Enter your name, 
phone number, and email. Add a username and password, which you will use to log into this app and web portal. Note, usernames must be between 3 and 32 characters long and contain only letters, numbers, or special characters, including the at, underscore, and period symbols. Passwords must be at least six characters long and are alpha and or numeric. Add the four-digit PIN code you would like to use to disarm your Rely panel. Complete the rest of the fields. If you would like to add a profile image, press the circle to take a photo or upload a profile image from your device. Once you finish adding your information, press the check mark in the top right corner to save the information. You will be directed to the Edit User screen. If you need to change any information, press Edit. Otherwise, swipe from the right edge of the screen to continue to the next step. Next, add your location. Press the Add button. Enter all required information such as premise name, address, and phone number. Once complete, press the check mark in the top right corner to save. You will be directed to the Edit Location screen. If you need to change any information, press Edit. Otherwise, swipe from the right edge of the screen to continue to the next step. Next, configure all the peripheral devices. All sensors, key fobs, and other peripherals must be individually added, installed into their final locations, and then tested. Press Add. Then press Add Sensor. Enter the sensor's TXID number either manually or by scanning the barcode. If you choose to scan in the TXID number, first press Scan. Then point your phone camera at the barcode. The app will auto-recognize the code and redirect you to the Add Sensor page with the populated code. Press the Model Number box to reveal the drop-down menu. Select the correct option from the list. Press OK. If you added a contact door window sensor, a checkbox option that reads, Is this an entry-exit door? will appear. If you leave this option checked, whenever the door or window is opened while the panel is armed in away mode, there will be a delay before the alarm is set off. This will give you time to disarm the panel when entering the premises. If this is unchecked, the alarm will trigger instantly if the door or window is opened. This should remain unchecked for all windows and doors you wouldn't likely enter through to access the physical security panel. If needed, click Show Advanced Options. This allows you to change the device type, alarm type, equipment type, loop number, and physical type. However, it is very rare that you would need to alter any of these default settings during DIY installation. Press Next to continue. You will see a success message. Select Name Sensor. Press the first line to display a drop-down menu. Select the desired word from the list of options. Press OK. Repeat these steps if you would like to add additional words. You can add up to three words. Once you have set the sensor name, select Next. Follow the on-screen prompts to test the sensor. Press Done when complete. You will be redirected to the Add Sensor page with your newly added sensor now listed. You will see a check mark next to the sensor name in the Tested column. Note, if any sensors are added but not successfully tested, tap on the sensor name to initiate testing that sensor. Repeat this process to add all other sensors and peripherals. Note, you cannot progress until all of the listed peripherals have been successfully tested. Once all peripherals are added and tested, press Next to continue. You will then be directed to the main Configure Sensor screen. If you need to change any information, press Edit. Otherwise, swipe from the right edge of the screen to continue to the next step. Finalize the DIY installation. Now that you have added the user and location information and configured all sensors and other peripheral devices, the finalized setup circle will be filled, indicating that your account DIY setup was successful. Press the Finish button to exit the Get Started DIY installation wizard. 
Use the username and password you added during the Create User step to log into the SmartLink Plus app anytime you need to remotely control and manage your system, add or edit users, add additional peripherals, or add a camera device. Your new user account has been created, and the Rely system is now installed and ready for use.